What's up YouTube? Devin and I are over here at, uh, where is it? Providence Village. <laughs> I think it's like in between Crossroads and Little Elm, Texas. And we're gonna try the pond right here in the front of this neighborhood that we've never given a, a shot before. We've tried the one in the back of the neighborhood and it uh, panned out pretty well, but check this one out. Here we are. Brought a couple decent rigs. I think we're gonna get this party started. First cast, I'm starting off with a black and blue craw Texas rigged. Devin is going with the black and blue chatterbait. Pretty murky, so the uh, darker color going to be a little bit better as far as the bass seeing it as opposed to a natural color or blend in a little bit more generally speaking yeah we didn't last but like 10 minutes at the first pond and then 10 minutes at a second one at uh, Providence Village because it was like super cold and a little breezy so we decided to just uh, call it but I decided about an hour later I wanted to uh, gear up bundle up and get after it again and the bite has been so slow lately y'all what we're doing I'm gonna switch things up I'm gonna go light I'm gonna do the Ned rig I'm gonna toss that thing out I haven't used the Ned rig in quite some time man but last year I had a lot of success with it maybe January February I think I'm gonna switch it to the uh, Metanium just because I want to get more use out of that reel since it's brand new and show you guys a little bit of how it performs with those lighter baits so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't pull a fish out of the Savannah ponds right here alrighty y'all we just got her tied on I forget what, uh, is it a Z-Man bait? I don't even remember what brand these Ned Rigs are, but I'll look them up here in a minute or I'll find the bag in the car because they're, they're perfect. They've got a little bit of buoyancy in the tail so they kind of pop along the bottom uh, with the tail up. It's just what you want. And then they also make these hooks that are just perfect. They're kind of weedless and they, uh, they just are the perfect profile. Uh, I chose this like bluish color or dark I forget what the name of the color is too but anyways it's kind of bluish as opposed to natural green and we're gonna throw right here before we maybe try the other side over there I'm gonna put the brakes on one and see what happens uh, could be dangerous oh yep very dangerous all right I think that's good we're about all out of line on the spool <laughs> Don't throw the Ned Rig on one brake setting on the Metanium DC. What about on three? I think I like three. I think that's the magic number for the Ned Rig. Decent distance with the 17 pound line here. I'm thinking they might be out a little deeper. It's all fairly shallow in this end. So we might just cast a line out over here. I think something has it. <laughs> Got the hook set on that little guy, didn't we? <laughs> I'm like, I think it's swimming. <laughs> oh, yes. Whipped him out of there. Wait till I see that footage. <laughs> and what is up with all the polka dotted bass here these days? Fish on, boys. Don't give up just because it's cold outside. I'll tell you what, we got them. Monster on the metanium. Definitely want to showcase that. That's funny. He's a feisty little one. Watch, he's going to swim right off. Let's get the GoPro good angle. Oh, he's going to swim right off. There he goes. Yeah, see, finicky bite. I don't know how much they want to commit. The thing is, I, I didn't even feel the bite. I just noticed my line. 
I, I didn't feel like the initial hit, like the initial bite, like he didn't tug. He kind of like grabbed it and I think carried it towards me a little bit. It kind of went slack and then I reeled in the slack and I'm like, I'm like, is it just a smooth area of the bottom? Because I'm reeling in the slack and there's no like resistance. He didn't tug away from it. He must have just been swimming right towards us. It was pretty classic. But then I kind of saw the line sway to the right a little bit. I said, you know what, let me set it. And bam, got a gun. There we go. This one's a little bigger, but he's only a pound and a half. Ah, there we go. Yeah, let's get him back in the water. That's number two though. There he goes, quick to escape. He's like, what the heck just happened to me? Okay, I'm thinking there's big ones out here. <laughs> we just gotta find them. I think we're onto something though. This is nice. This is telling me that maybe these next couple days, if it's gonna be cold like this, I just need to get out here and throw the Ned rig. Waiting on the big bite. Okay, I think we're calling it there. I definitely like throwing the Ned rig on this rod though, that's for sure. It feels like it feels like I'm using a heavy rod. Like I just wanna I got good sensitivity and everything. Medium heavy is perfect for uh, finesse baits in the winter. If y'all are looking into the fate black, this is the 7-1 medium heavy fast. And uh it felt real good with the Ned rig. Man, this rod is really glowing tonight too. I don't know if it's like something to do with the cast in the sky or what, but this thing is like really bright green. Anyways, you guys know I like to link all the gear in the description down below in case you want to take a peek at it yourself. <sighs> I'm gonna get out of here, but I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.